Welcome to my bedroom. For those of you who don't know, we are renting right now while we design and build our new home. If there's anything I've learned while renting, it's that you still need to, to <laughs> okay, I need a Diet Coke. <laughs> if there's anything I've learned while renting, it's that you still need to make it feel like home. Bedding is a really great way to do that because you can pack it up and take it with you. So today we're gonna to show you three foolproof ways to style your bed. Bedding doesn't have to be your basic bedspread and pillows. You can add so much more with layers and details and textures. For this look, we have a patterned duvet cover and it has this really bold stripe and we also have a great throw pillow that has a pattern on it. And so we've broken those up with some solids. And those solids have different textures. We have a quilted texture, we have this linen texture with some fringe, and then these beautiful shams. I love that they have this really great pleated detail and they tie in with the throw at the end of the bed. I'm also gonna show you my favorite way to fold a duvet. So instead of just folding it in half, you actually start by folding it in half and then you pull it back into thirds. And then that way it looks extra fluffy and it allows you to show off the throw at the end of the bed and a quilt, sheets, and pillows. If you decide to match your shams to your duvet, I like this look and we do it a lot, but you don't wanna buy everything else in the set too. Break up the quilt and the sheets with something else to keep it from being too matchy-matchy. This look I love. It's very tone on tone and when you keep it that kind of light and monochromatic, you need to focus on texture. So you see here we have this chunky knit throw, velvet on the quilt, and then this beautiful linen duvet cover that I am completely obsessed with and want to get it for my own house. It's 100% linen and then it has this stitching detail and crocheted edge. The quality is just like heirloom quality and I just love it. We paired it with a striped quilt and then we mixed our whites and our creams together, which a lot of people get nervous about, but I say just go for it. We have white on the sheets and the pillowcases mixed with the kind of cream tones on the other layers and then a tone on tone block print pillow. The question we get asked a lot is, what size pillow should I use? Um, on a king bed, I always recommend doing a 24 or 26 inch decorative pillow, and then make sure that your shams are king size shams. On a queen bed, you could do a 22, 24, or 26 inch pillow, but do not go smaller than that or else it'll look just kind of puny. Um, here, we did one big 24 inch pillow and it grounds the whole look really nicely. This look is all about crisp bedding. So we have this really great hotel stripe duvet and matching shams. And then we kept the sheets the same color, but we just kind of mixed it up just a little bit in a subtle way by doing a sheet with a ruffle edge detail. And then it's the added extras that add some texture. So we have this amazing body pillow that acts as the foundation of the end of the bed instead of putting a quilt or a throw. And I love this color and who doesn't want a big body pillow that also looks good too. Then we finished it off by putting two shams with this, this one with has this kind of frayed edge to it and then a leather pillow. In one look, we stacked our pillows, and in the other look, we had them forward facing, and here we mixed both styles together. There are so many ways to make up your bed, but the main things to pay attention to are layers, textures, and details. We hope you enjoyed seeing how we styled the bed three different ways. Just remember to have fun with it and you can shop everything you saw here today at McGee & Co.
Stay tuned for more home tours and design tips, and don't forget to subscribe.